What you're looking at is a hydrogen generator, which is basically a device that uses electrolysis to split water molecules to create the highly explosive mixture of hydrogen gas and oxygen. My design uses a used CO2 cartridge as its core. I designed the housing on Fusion 360, and there's a link in the description if you'd like to go print it out yourself. I first print out the housing, then I soldered some wire to the top of a screw and cut the end of a CO2 cartridge off and soldered some more wire to the bottom of it. Next, I put the CO2 cartridge into the housing. The top can be a little bit hard to get on, but that's because it must fit airtightly on the CO2 cartridge and the housing. For how small it is, it produces a lot of hydrogen gas. Now the screw screws right into the top of the housing. Uh, I didn't film all of it because it was a little bit hard to get it on there because it had to be airtight. You could connect the two wires to any sort of power source, but I used an old airsoft battery. And then I added a little tube to the top of it to collect this, the uh, hydrogen gas. Now to make this generator produce the most amount of hydrogen gas, we need to add something to the water to make it more conductive. Now I added baking soda. There's other things you could add, but baking soda is the most relevant. Most, most people have that laid in their kitchen, you know. As you can see, this hydrogen generator produces a ton of hydrogen. And I mean, it all cost around a dollar, maybe probably less than that. As you're watching it produce hydrogen, I want you to remember how small this is. I mean, this could fit in your pocket and it is so easy to make. To give you an understanding of how powerful this is, I'm gonna light up this little bit. And this blast does not do it justice. How loud it is. It sounds like a really loud firecracker when you're in person. 